Hey guys, this is our first episode ever of The Roommate Club here. Uh, I'm My name is Jeremy, and we have Matt. M Matt. Matt. <laughs> Michelle. And Fuck Matt. you, I'm going to say my name first, you bitch. Alright. Bren. Bren, alright. It's the first time doing it. This is our first time ever trying to do a podcast. Our show idea is called The Roommate Club, and basically what we're going to do is talk about different... Uh, different stories and media and gaming related news and uh, there's a pretty big topic right now that everyone is talking about and memeing about oh that's boomer, boomer. she's not in the shot no oh no but, oh he's coming in boomer is the the trusty dog here who's a 90 year old veteran at heart he'll be dead soon <laughs> <laughs> so i mean it's sad but true yeah no, no he's a senior right. boy but uh, the, the topic that's been talked about and memed about quite a bit right now is... Henry Cavill in the Witcher series on Netflix. I'm okay with that jawline. Okay, me yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. Anyway, what's the actual topic? The other thing is the recent separation, the, uh, the parental arguments, the divorce court about Spider-Man between Marvel and Sony. And a lot of people are saying that Sony's the the evil one in this. Other people are saying I, it's I Disney. I actually don't. I don't think either one of them is. I think they're really both evil awful. In this. I think they're both being just greedy bastards. Oh yeah, both definitely want to make more money. Disney's proposal is a lot better. Um, their so originally their proposal was uh, we contribute zero dollars, take one hundred percent of the profit, and they get to keep one hundred percent of the profit. Now they're no, proposing well, Sony. Sony was getting that. Yeah. yeah, that's Sony what Sony was getting. That's what they Disney were gets five percent on the first date. Um, yeah, that's it. That was it. Just the sales. Yeah, and now they wanted to offer fifty fifties, and Disney has the money to make better and better Spider Mans. But Sony didn't want to allow that. They didn't want to have to give up forty five more percent on day one. Well, it's like that meme that says, "Why, why make billions when you can make millions?" <laughs> and and that, that's Sony right now. Oh, it is, but. I feel that if they were to actually full on go the separation, I think Disney is going to fight tooth and nail to keep Spider Man because they've made him basically. They realize that making Captain Marvel the new, the next Tony Stark of the team is not working out as well as they originally planned. I don't think they planned on making it. The Kevin Tony Feige. Stark. Kevin Feige said that Marvel was going to replace Tony Stark as the head of the Avengers. But he then said that. that. Yeah, but in, like Far From Home, they clearly made yeah, Tom Holland. Oh yeah, no, like the new Iron Man. Oh, and that's was... just gonna go to the wayside. <laughs> no, they've made him the Iron Man, but uh, they wanted to now push, really push Spider Man as like their main boy. Yeah, they like, they they. Which I think they jumped the gun on because <laughs> they're still going through these kind of negotiations. Oh, exactly. Bit, and I don't um, blame Sony. Premature. For, I don't blame Sony for doing what they're doing because. Disney's already making 100% of the merchandising rights, and they also make whatever it is after the first day. There's three days of a box office weekend, and they're already making buttloads. Like, they, they instead, in this case, instead of making billions, they just want trillions, even though they're already making a shit ton of money. But they're running into the same problem with oversaturating and kind of caring more about the monetary gain than the actual creative gain, like they are doing right now with Star Wars. It's a... <laughs> Merchandise money. And that's falling on them, too. They're well, realizing that the toy sales from Star Wars right now is absolute... Wow, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I was drinking my beer too fast. The, uh, the merchandising sale from Star Wars has been abysmal. And so that's why I... I that's uh, because they screwed up Star Wars, but that's another... Oh, that's, that's a whole other topic. topic. <laughs> but I guess that... What's your guys' thoughts on... The, and who do you feel... Like, Brand and I have the same kind of idea that... Both of them are to blame. Both of them are at fault. Do you guys have... I, I'm not saying both of them are at fault. I do think that both of them just want to make more money. And Sony backing out, or basically saying, no, fuck you, uh, is also fucking themselves. Because they, they can also make a shit ton more money with this deal. Both companies benefit from this deal. And But both of them are being greedy. Oh, yeah. I think but things so. are just kind of now at standstill. Yeah. I think because Sony's Sony thinks they can make uh, more money. Yeah, I think Sony's lawyers were like, hey, I think we can get more money out of this because it's getting so popular. So you say we're going to go with this and nothing else and see how it goes. And then they did. Disney said no. And then they, they, then they just cut ties. 
I'm kind of. <laughs> that was that. I'm kind of curious right now is what's going on with Tom Holland because Tom Holland yeah. he has not officially been said that he's not Spider Man anymore. But no, it's going to be weird if on he okay. for well, this two is, more movies. This is, yeah. this is also way too, way too early to determine because there isn't actually a final answer right now. They're they're in. Well, now it's Dis- now it's Disney and Sony talking. It's no longer Kevin Feige and Marvel talking with them anymore. Well, yeah, it's it's not. No, it, it was always there, Disney. There is well, no. It was Marvel or like Mar- Disney through Marvel, but now Disney is like straight up. They've sent their execs in. All right, Kevin what do you, what do you guys think your more. prediction is? Is the result of this? I honestly think Sony will make a deal where they get even more money. And Disney's fine with it because they're still going to make even more money as well by signing it. I'm thinking probably like a thirty-seven, Oof. sixty-three well, it split. It doesn't make sense to have. Holland as Spider-Man outside of the MCU because they oh no for sure backstory leans so heavily on Iron which Man. why I think they will come to a compromise well, it'll no. just be a bit more in Sony Sony's theory. gonna continue that storyline and just what do you think axe the axe the MCU side of things so do you think they're just gonna keep Holland as Spider-Man I'm gonna keep the like, same oh, actors I could see them doing that I can <laughs> yeah they, they, they like gone to a point the, Far yeah. from Home ended on its own so much that they would probably. Never make well, like, when, Sony Pictures has never made a good decision. But in what are they going to do in Except the next by the movie? Movie. By themselves. Well, yeah, by themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Spider Verse was an amazing movie because of how many talented people were involved. Oh, in fuck yeah, that was so good. Yeah. But what will movie. they do in the next movie when his suit is Iron Man tech? Are they just going to pretend well, that didn't happen? Guess what they did with the Fantastic Four movies just to keep the rights. They just butchered them. Put oh my god, it was so crap. bad. But, but, they, but that was a reboot, though. They. The how they, they keep rebooting it because they're in, they have to make a new movie every five years oh, to yeah, get the rights. So they're they, doing the Spider Man movies. Yeah, and but they ne- they've never done anything creative. Right. They don't have the creative mind to make movies. No, they went. They know hand. that. They know that they would make so much less money if they actually decided to take back the movies. Well, no, they really they really need they need to Venom give it up and just take they, a they bigger piece of the house. Venom was like such a hit, right? Apparently, Kevin Feige had a hand in that. What? But Disney so, doesn't want Kevin Feige working on anything that Disney doesn't own. Exactly. Yeah. But he's That's already cool. stretched thin. The yeah, well, okay, so since they own. acquired Fox's like line of Marvel yeah, characters, that's one of the reasons Sony he, claims that this whole breakup happened because oh, of uh, no. not, oh, Kevin Feige's all busy with all these other characters. Well, that he was going to retire. Gonna, but he was going to like step away from the MCU, but then they're like, hey, do you want to do you want to do X Men? Like, oh. But if they do split, what'll happen to Aunt May and Happy Dating? Boomers just yeah. out of They frame. broke up tragically. I'm Is this gonna, gonna be like it. awkwardly referenced? Like, Ren, no. Boomer is just out of frame. But then I'll be out of frame. Yo. Fuck! So I'm I feel that Sony could break away from this. I feel that there's a 50-50 chance that Spider-Man may not be part of the MCU anymore. I know that Disney will fight tooth and nail. They'll they'll go super duper lawyer on the whole thing. How but much you, is I have an opposite opinion to it. I can have. I feel that Sony could walk away. They it wouldn't be the right decision. If Sony does walk away, do you think Disney's gonna be like you're gonna have to annex out everything that Disney owns? Yeah, they can. That, they could be you, bitter as fuck about they that. They can. Yeah. They can legally basically be like, sure. Restart for the fourth time and kill Uncle Ben. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> new Spider-Man movie. But Uncle Ben's that would real be estate. <laughs> if, if they restart with the same actor, <coughs> they're not gonna. No, they no, they would. They, they want to keep not. going with the same actors. They're gonna continue this kind of what they've established, well, but they're gonna do it wrong because Sony's really good at making bad decisions. Yes, yeah, Holland is right now is like he's pretty much one of the best parts right now of the Marvel movies, and they don't want to lose him. He's pretty much the best live action Spider Man that they've ever had. What else what else has Tom Holland done recently? Like is his career done if if he's he's done starting Spider-Man? to do other stuff. And he actually did stuff before Spider Man. Really? He was in The Impossible. He was a child actor. The Impossible was that movie about uh, the flood that hit Thailand back in the early two thousand tens. The one of Ewan McGregor and Naomi Watts. I didn't watch it either, but I know, <laughs> that, he was, I know that he was good in it, apparently. Whoa, what the hell? I just, we yeah. got Chaos Walking, All oh, That Heart of the Sea, The Lost City of Z, because yeah. Atlantis was taken. Do you say Heart of the Sea with, um, La- 
Yeah, Heart of the Sea. Well, I, he, I saw that, yeah. Well, Doolittle... Oh, wait, these are upcoming movies. Yeah. Doolittle... Do really? He is in the current war. That actually looks really good. Though that's the one about Thomas Edison, uh, Tesla, and some other dude. Who never wait. Ah, just like an electric so, current. Thor and hey. Spider-Man were in a movie before together in Heart of the Seas. They were both in that. I didn't know. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh. I didn't realize they were both in that. Look at Yeah. So, speaking of upcoming movies, what about... James Bond. No Time to Die. Oh, yes. What's that? That's the name of the newest James Bond movie. Okay. I don't know anything about this, so explain it to me. So, this is the one that's being worked on right now by... The director of this movie is... I cannot pronounce his name for it correctly. Kerry Fukunui? Fukunui. Cool. I don't remember any director's names. So. Anyways, he directed the first season of True Detective for HBO, which was... You know, I couldn't get into that show. I can understand how. It's very... Mo- I feel like I'm definitely in the minority the, on that one. There's, there's a lot of philosophical stuff about it in the first three episodes. Like, the amount of story is this much. The amount of character development is this much. And it's weird, because usually I'm not kind of... I need a bit of a middle on the ground. I need the plot to move forward, but True Detective... I know, I know a lot of people love that show. It was really, really good. But, but it, did none of us watch it? I didn't. No, uh, I but didn't. anyway, <laughs> I did so, okay. okay, so it's just Jeremy <laughs> chatting about this one director. All right, no one else has watched. He's a he's a good director. He directed Beasts of No Nation, which was that child soldier movie in 2015 oh, from that. Netflix, which yeah. was depressing as fuck. And he's one of the guys who's the writers for it. Uh, anyways, he's directing this movie. Uh, Fuck, I'm so stoked for it. It's gonna be good. Joji Fukunaga. Oh, Kerry Joji Fukunawa. Yes, I'm Fukunaga. really bad at saying yep. names. Um, so it, he's the director of this new Bond movie, and the title was just released, and it's called No Time to Die, and I swear it sounds like something from a Dolph Lundgren, uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, especially a Steven Seagal straight-to-DVD movie. Like No Time to Die. That's every James Bond movie that, name, though. Well, there's Die Another Day. Golden Eye. It seems like Walmart brand Die Another Day. Yeah. Dino, that was, uh, you, know, you had that, that's a good one, um, because Dino of the Day kind of worked because it, it was based off of an Ian Fleming novel, like, short story. Okay. Like, they used up, they've used up every single Ian Fleming book title. Like, Quantum of Solace wasn't even a Bond book, but they used that title for one of the Bond movies. So is this Daniel Craig's last Bond movie, then? Well, they paid him a fuck ton of money to do it. Yeah, it's pretty much his last one, but... That that was oh, that was highly debatable for a long time. Cause he said, "I would rather slit my wrists than do another Bond movie." Why? He doesn't because he's, he's old. Him. He does not like doing these movies. I love him as Bond. Which is yeah. Just because I think you it's love be- him as Bond doesn't mean he's wanting to do my Bond. Well, stuff. Quantum of Solace I know was an absolute disaster in terms of production because that movie was made during the writer strike. Nice. Um, that's why the movie kind of just goes off the edge. He also broke his wrist, and I think he got injured another way too in that movie. Then Skyfall. Was that during like the open chase scene? No, that was when he was in Italy, when he's. Uh... Well, actually, that is. Was he no, doing it? I don't remember that. It, it, was, it was the Are... opening and running chase scene, right? Yeah. Well, in Quantum of Solace, it starts with the car chase, which is actually really good. That's the part I remember the most about that movie. And then, yeah, then this guy gets murdered and they're running up around the rooftops of this Italian city. Okay. Um, yeah, that's when he broke, I think that's when he broke his wrist. And yeah, then Skyfall was, was Skyfall was absolutely amazing. And then Spectre came out and everyone was like, meh. <laughs> I haven't seen Spectre. It's... I don't, can't remember what happens in it. It's not that good. Is that it, the one where he it, disappears and then he comes back years later and then they it finally it reveal Skyfall? what's his name? That was Skyfall. That was Skyfall. What, what, the guy has the scar, gets the scar? Uh, Christoph... Christoph Waltz? No, yes. that's... That, yes, Christoph Waltz was Inspector. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, uh, okay. No, he disappears in Skyfall. He gets shot and then he goes away. And okay, dies. yeah, see, it's been so long since yeah. I've seen these movies. They're all playing Spectre together. Is that Batista shows up Yeah, Batista. Yeah. He's on the train. Yeah. Uh, but Spectre had, uh, it was trying to play homage to the old movies, like they tried to throw in gadgets and whatnot. They had a car chase scene with two massively expensive supercars, and you could tell that they were the actual cars because they didn't do anything with them. They literally never made contact with anything, because I bet you that that was the only reason, the only way they were going to get those cars in the movies. Both of the manufacturers, like, you can't do anything. You probably can't, they probably couldn't even have uh, shoes inside those cars. That's what happened when uh, 
they had the new Camaro in Transformers. Mm -hmm. Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox couldn't wear shoes inside those cars. <laughs> All right. So, Wait, I remember when that movie came out and that was like, everyone's like, oh my god, they're remaking the Camaro. everyone bought that damn car. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this well, one, I, I'm kind of on the fence with this one. I was really looking forward to this movie because Danny Boyle was directing it. And Danny Boyle is one of my favorite directors. He did Slum Dog Millionaire 28 Days Later. Um, and But then he left for creative reasons and this one has so far had a few problems uh, there was a explosion in, during one of the shooting days in a studio which is that usually doesn't happen they're Are usually, we still talking usually, about Spectre? No this is dot time No time to, to die? die Okay So wait wait wait, wait. what do you mean you well, <laughs> like, does it does it occasionally it, happen? Outside, you have you have elements like wind, you have weather, you have pedestrians, you have unknown factors. In a mm. studio, that's usually the most safe. The well, most what caused the explosion? They still, as far as I know, they don't really. They haven't really released that much information. Have but you ever was, heard of another explosion happening during? At a, well, it was an expl. It was planned, but or so it was supposed to happen in the scene, but it didn't go off correctly, and people got injured. Like, they actually oh. blew a hole in the wall. Ooh. Solid. Yeah. <laughs> like, fire was coming So someone, someone could have nice. died. Someone could have died. Somehow, they, no one did die. Don't worry, there's no time to die. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that was terrible. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> but, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm a fan of the Bond movies, but... Oh, this is the other part, too. Uh, I don't know if you guys uh, saw this. This was You're like this... skipping talk points. No, no, no. To get no. To this is notes. about. This is still about Bond. <laughs> okay. No. Um, it's uh, this was about a month ago they announced it, uh, but they made they they definitely did this just to stir up controversy. But there is a female Bond in this movie, and it's the actress who was Carol Danvers' friend in uh, Captain Marvel. Um, what's her name? Oh, so it'll be a black woman. Yes. And that started up this shit pot with a bunch of people being like, Bond can't be a woman, why is Bond a black woman? Uh, it's just gonna be like, Bond, like Ariel Bond can black. totally be a black woman. Bond is an identity, doesn't have to be well, that's, a male. But see, that's the thing that I Skyfall think. made Bond it. Is yeah, that's, it is a that's thing. what I just <laughs> said. <laughs> Sky, Skyfall set it up though that Bond's actually his name. Because his parents' yeah. grave have Bond on them. So now they're going back to this moniker idea. Which is cool, but you you just yeah. The problem is they keep trying to like add all these things, and they just like they they don't work together. It's not like cohesive. There there is a, a considerable amount of inconsistency. And like in again, stories. like you mentioned in like Inspector or whatever, that they try to go back and do the homage of the of the old stuff with the gadgets and stuff. It's like yeah, but you already established that that's not the kind of Bond like that that this is. And then they're trying to, it's like, oh, Bond's not a moniker, though, that's his name, so we're going to change that up, though. Mm -hmm. And then now they're going to be like, oh, but yeah, it's actually kind of a, a, a moniker, because now, like, a female can do it. It's like, just make up your mind. I don't care if it's a female or not. From just, like, gathered, let's keep it consistent. Well, from what I've gathered, she's literally just going to be the Bond replacement at the beginning of the movie, because Spectre, at least the film starts with Bond having been on vacation, because that's how Spectre ended. He was like, yeah, well, Screw you, uh, MI, MI6, I'm, I'm going away now. All right. And so he's going to be coming back because something's going to happen. And he's oh, brought okay. back into the fold. I'm okay with again. that. Again. Uh, I'm, I'm interested. Whatever. Like, it's... I'm going to watch it. Let's Bond movies have been going I'm, forever. It's I'm actually whatever. going to watch You still haven't seen one. Spectre, though. Ah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see it. It's just not going to make sense. <laughs> You yeah. just said you haven't seen Spectre yet, and you're I like, I'm going to watch this one. I'm still going to watch it. Oh, Daniel Craig's in this? <laughs> Yeah, basically. Uh, okay. this, I love Daniel Craig. This is actually great. This is one of the biggest breaks in terms of the in between Bond films because Bond Spectre came out in 2015 and this one won't come out until 2020. Mm -hmm. I do feel like John Wick has replaced Bond. Yeah, it's coherent. Story's great. Action's really well shot. Yeah, I've got my issues with it, but whatever. We're talking about the third one. All of it, the series. <gasps> Yeah, I know. Controversial, oh. right? Oh. We'll save it for another time. But yeah. <laughs> so, but what do you guys think about the idea of Bond being a woman character? Well, I don't, I don't care about Bond. Like, uh, like as a series, what are like? It's as as Matt said, it's a moniker. If they're gonna. I'm, I'm willing on. to make the stupidest assumption and go. Sure, his name happened to be Bond. 
just so that I can make the story fit the moniker mm -hmm. better in my own head. People want a strong female lead because it's never been done before. So because no it, one ever thinks about right all now, the right? other female strong female leads mm -hmm. in the past. That is my that's <laughs> that's where I'm coming from. I, 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 I think don't... it's absolutely stupid if it's the only reason is that it makes sense if from a story perspective. Yeah, if they do it well, they don't force it on you like one that fucking. I don't want to feel. I yeah, don't want it to feel oh, like a four yeah. strong yeah. Yeah. woman lead because those movies are terrible. Yeah, well, that's what we're saying. Look at the uh, Batwoman. The Batwoman trailer is mm -hmm. just absolutely it's trash. So bad. Yeah. But don't look, don't because it, it's always a man's idea of a strong woman lead, and that doesn't it's display. Not always a, a man's idea. No, there's, yeah, some, it's, there's there's some female producers who are pushing that yeah. stuff on on. It's the CW, dude. We, like we had it's this conversation when Wonder Woman came out, and everyone's like, "This is the best movie ever." Such a strong family, and you're like, yeah. "Ripley, Ripley, Sarah Connor, <laughs> Laura Croft." There's uh, a fuck ton you can name. So many, I can't like Furiosa like, from uh, Mad Max. Yeah, that's a that's a movie that. Uh, what? Sure. It was good. It, it was I didn't like her. Doesn't what? matter. What? It wasn't what? forced. And she was a strong female lead, and it, yeah, yeah, and no one strong, mentioned it. Like, no, no, no. Right. Strong, it and no one went, "Oh, there's a strong female lead." They were like, "Where are all the strong and, female and leads?" Pushing it on and I looked trailers. at it and went, "Her acting's terrible." What? 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 She no, was she was is great. A, is a great actress. She was. I disagree. And she was a, she's fair, but she's a good actress. She yeah. is a good actress. She, she was the one. She wasn't forced on you, With like from the trailers. You thought she was a side character, but really, was her movie really? Mad Max was kind of just there to yeah. mobile. It was good, Rose, simple movie. Rose, Rose, the strong female lead. It was yeah. good. She's the one no agenda. The villain. No political yeah. agenda. Nothing to do with gender equality. This is a good movie. Yeah, this one got off topic real fast. No, oh. this is on topic. <laughs> Going back to the whole premise of the female Bond, it doesn't matter if there's no political agenda behind it. If people are like, it's about time Bond was a female, it just doesn't matter. No, it's, it's just if yeah. if it's a good movie, great. That we naturally have strong female leads, and people just yeah, forget yeah. about it. It seems that yeah. now it's like yeah, they're trying to force this like instead of like slightly doing it, they're doing it. All or nothing. Yeah, all these movies that like, are. All, hey, you all don't remember any of these, but we're just gonna really, really, really tell you that there's a woman in this movie, and she's the main character, and you better not say anything negative about it. Are you? oh. you're sexist? Like, I feel like Rude Captain movies. Marvel was ruined by the amount of pushing on how important it is to have a female in the lead because they or the or the, the, the push it. where all of the females land, where it's just a female. That I thought was just cool because you I have it was there's so a forced. lot of female. It was, a, it was no. a bit forced. It was a little bit, but there are a lot of female heroes, and it's yes, just like get are. them all in a row. I thought it was kind of cool. Oh yeah, I thought it felt extremely. It was a little. Forced. It was campy, but yeah, it's, a, it's campy. a superhero movie. Yeah, it's a camp. It's a yeah. It's a campy. Matt movie, has a but... point there though. Yeah, it's it's a superhero movie. Yeah, it's a superhero. I movie. Was, like, I was fine with that. I was kind of like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was like. Mm. I wasn't indifferent about it, but yeah, like you said, for Marvel, Captain Marvel, like, I would compare Captain Marvel to Wonder Woman. I didn't feel Wonder Woman forced that. Yeah, Wonder Woman wasn't and forced. And she's, she's a super, like, she's basically an impervious character, mm -hmm. but she, yeah, I felt that they did that way better, but also that's because Patty Jenkins is a much better director. Yeah, than this movie, like, directed. Captain Marvel's shoehorned into Endgame, and it didn't make any sense. Oh, yeah. And yeah. That, and that was something we brought. Uh, I was saying with Michelle yesterday is, if Captain Marvel is so strong that the only reason why Thanos was able to beat her is because he literally full on fisted a Infinity Stone, what is she going to fight in the next movies that will be a threat to her, but not no. make Thanos make you see, completely? She just pointless. won't be around. But she's in her own movie. Though. What's the well, Captain what's Marvel two? That's not coming out for anti hero that eats worlds. The next phase, yeah, in the the next phase which is the next That's five the something Street. years, three years. What? No. But I don't know. I just feel that uh, whatever yeah, she faces is going to make Thanos look nothing in comparison. Do you mean is it other talking about? Is. Yeah. No. It's it's an issue. Sure talking about from introduced to Doctor They're going to have to like depower oh, yes. I don't know. All right. So, now, the last point we can talk about, Brandon, actually, is the timer still going? Oh, you also brought up that, yes. um, she was like Rey. She had Yes! Yeah. Captain Marvel and Rey are the same person. Who oh, is this? Don't get me. That's Galactus. Galactus. Oh, because... She can fight Galactus. Oh, because they have She him. couldn't. He beat her. Well, oh, they have Fox. No, well, Galactus then. fought Thor. Yeah, they do. I hope they... Oh, oh my god, that was such a good cloud. fight. Such a good fight. 
What? The what? Thor fighting Galactus. Wait. In the comics. Bren, you read? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're <literally laughs> What did you read? <laughs> 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 When there are pictures in the <laughs> this is a shock to all of us. <laughs> Just like, oh my. Okay, uh, okay. I'm gonna a quick thing about Rey in Star Wars is that she is literally a perfect character, which is why she's so boring. Yeah. yeah. She, AKA she can do, Miss Marvel. She can or do Captain everything Marvel. and there's no almost yeah. no negative to her. Someone brought up when I was uh, watching someone talk about Last Jedi and said, hey, did you realize that Rey, who's lived on a desert planet her whole life, fell into a pool of water and could swim? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really Look, okay, we could rip into s the Star yeah, Wars did, all days. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Right. But there is so we got at least two topics. But there is yeah. something else yeah. about Star Wars we can talk about. No. And there's the next one time. Next time. Next time. Move on. Next topic. No, no. Just drawing a parallel between Captain Marvel. It's been 15 no, minutes on this topic. No, this is this is the next topic. Okay. Okay. Obi Wan Kenobi's getting his own mini series on Disney Plus, and Ewan McGregor's coming back. Yes, I'm we were pretty sure he's members. excited about that. Uh, okay, yeah, next time. This is like this. I'm very excited about because I know Ewan McGregor has been wanting to do this, and they've been talking about it with him for the last ten years. So is this actually happening? Yes. Is it going to be live confirmed. action? Yeah, it's confirmed yes. for live November twelfth. Yeah, okay. this year. I don't think no. this year. No, next year. They're, they're going to start maybe. shooting it. Okay. Um, yeah. And it's going to be. I think it's going to be ten episodes. It's going to be a mini series. Yeah, yeah. They, I'm, just like I'm Mandalorian. Dope. Yeah, though Mandalorian love him. Good too. Who's At least making love it? Love Obi Wan. Uh, I don't know who's actually behind it so far. Please not Kathleen Kennedy. Mm -hmm. but no, it's a John Favaro is going to be a part of it. Who I'm kind of like cool. Yeah, you know, he, if he doesn't screw up the Mandalorian, and he has, and he's probably going to be an executive producer or some sort of producer on this Kenobi thing. I'm, I guess the only thing that they're going to be able to do is the in between. Like, that's something that Ewan McGregor has expressed, that he really wants to see how they would bridge the the gap between his Kenobi and Alec Guinness's Kenobi. They, and he kind of made the point, though, I was like, what would it be, though? What like, kind of adventures would he have on Tatooine? Yeah, 20 years of him living in, a, you know, in the desert. Montage! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, like, what is he going to do? Catching, like, frogs and eating. I, I feel like there's a lot of room for error. In this series, but I believe if Disney manages the new trilogy has already right, shown that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I well, think it, if Disney manages to do this right, it will revitalize Star Wars for them. Well, like I think not in the Mandalorian, but there's, there's it's their the only hope. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of want to see what they do. By the way, like, great pun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I kind of want to see what they do in terms of time. If they actually will try and cheat it and make him go other places, or they might talk more about his past. I think they'll be t fine on a timeline because J.K. Rowling's not in charge of it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gay. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, I uh, I kind of want to see too if they add any elements from the Clone Wars because they said well, the Clone I, Wars I, have to. It's like I feel like that's the most really popular the part of Star Wars. Well, the Clone go Wars back, is then you great. Also, and yeah. Rebels is great. Yeah, you need to cover stuff though that's not already covered in the Clone Wars. Well, that's, and Rebels. That's yeah, the problem. Like, so which is everything. What, there's, a, there's a problem with that, though, because there's supposed to be, at least it's been established now in Rebels, it was established in the novels, in the Legends novels before, and then they brought it over into Rebels, Obi-Wan fights Darth Maul on Tatooine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I think they're going to pl play on that, because unless they're across the Rebels with live action, because they introduced Darth Maul on Han Solo... This Han Solo movie, right? Oh, so yeah. he's back. Oh. He was cut in half with a little bit. Well, no, I start. I was watching that video on how one of the Jeremy. ideas for a Star Wars movie would be like a job uh, the Hut a, origin. There's a hack called Magic and Lantern. They've actually covered a lot of the Hut origins Ooh, okay. in Clone And that will allow you to really? override the 30-minute yeah. limit. They did. Yeah, right. yeah, you're right. You know why they have a 30-minute limit? That's it's, uh, <laughs> stupid, though. <laughs> it was a I just, restriction. Yeah, it was a on the EU. And for whatever reason, they Howard the Baker decided to impose it. But there was actually a lot countries. covered in Clone Wars. Yeah, I've forgotten so much. But because they simply didn't want to write a lot of seasons. Well, at least to say, are you guys excited for the idea of Obi Wan coming back? Oh yeah, because Ian McGregor was only one of the only good actors in the original trilogy. And the, sorry, the prequel trilogy. I have a question. Because a lot of the directing capabilities of George Lucas just like 
slopped all over everyone else. Well, he, did, like, he doesn't, uh, he's just like, yeah, just go. Yeah, just do your thing. He yeah, and he's good at doing that. Natalie Portman needs direction, which is why she sucked in that, and she's a good actress. But right? is it gonna be Jesus McGregor? Yes. The beard? He needs the beard. No, then the mother. Oh. No, that was a bad idea. No, yeah, that it's was, gone forever. That was beautiful. <laughs> Hello, that. It was kind of great. It was so bad. It was so bad. Was he like, looked like he was going God, through puberty in his... Not, 30s. Oh, Jesus. He, I thought he was trying to be an Australian. I liked uh, I liked the hair, but I do admit uh, he definitely will have the big beard. He he pretty much looked like Alec Guinness. Revenge of the Sith hairstyle was the best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. No, it, it was. Yeah, but I really right. like Jesus McGregor. Sure. <laughs> Just that flow. So much, so much hair product. Whatever. Oh. Well, that's our first episode of uh, The Roommate Club here. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this was fun to do. We might try and do more of these. Uh, we will do more of these. We just need I'm not a pessimist. We just need more, uh, we need more mics. We definitely need microphones. We're going to have to figure what? that out. Oh, we just need to figure out how it'll come up, right? Because we have three. Please donate to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget We're to starving. like and subscribe. Yes. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so that you get all of our updates because the new YouTube algorithms changed once again. Yes, it did. I it mean, did, though. That's, that's... And that was actually months ago. But then it, 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 it changes week to week, man. It, yeah. Depends. It's hard out there to be a YouTuber. <laughs> anyway, hey, I want my quarter of a Snickers bar when we eventually get money. I gotta get back to making <laughs> Snickers bar money, though. You don't even have Snickers bar money anymore. You don't no, have Snickers bar money. Snickers bar money. No, if, we're, oh. if you're below a certain amount, you're. Then I was close. Your bar money? Well, now I'm like I'm getting closer, but we'll see. Maybe like, I wouldn't mind having Snickers bar money again. YouTube took away your Snickers bar money. They took my Snickers. <laughs> you gotta be a Twitch thought. You're not the same when you're hungry. <laughs> so you need this podcast have not a... sponsored by Snickers. <laughs> but it could be. Have, have, take a break. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bye. All right. See you guys later. Yeah. <laughs>